Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to go about resolving if you're having an issue with your Wi-Fi adapter and you're perhaps running the network adapter troubleshooting utility built into Windows and it says that troubleshooting has completed. Troubleshooting was unable to automatically fix all of the issues found. You can find more details below and then it lists now problems found and it will say that Wi-Fi does not have a valid IP configuration and that it was not fixed. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process guys and without further ado let's go ahead and jump straight into it. So the easiest method I'm going to just show you guys, um, just make sure you have your Wi-Fi passcode, username and passcode nearby, because once we restart a computer, you will need to re-enter in your network credentials. So if you don't have it, it's typically listed on the back of your router. So you just go ahead and jot that down. So we're going to start off by opening up the Start button, and then you're going to select the Settings icon. You can also search for Settings in the Start menu search as well. And you want to select Network and Internet on the left side. And now on the right side, you want to go ahead and scroll down underneath where it says Advanced Network Settings. Go ahead and left-click on that. And now you want to select Network Reset. Reset all network adapters to factory settings. Go ahead and click on that. So this will remove and reinstall all of your network adapters and set other networking components back to their original settings. You might need to reinstall other networking software afterwards, such as VPN client software or virtual switches. Your PC will be restarted. Go ahead and select the Reset Now button. Are you sure you want to reset your network settings? Go ahead and select Yes. And now go ahead and select Close. You will need to save and close out of any open programs and applications you have on your computer because within five minutes your computer will automatically restart. So once you've closed everything out and you have your network credentials like I mentioned, go ahead and actually retrieve them off the back of your router if you don't have them jotted down somewhere. And go ahead and reset your computer at this time. So just right clicking on the start button and then I'm selecting restart. You can do a complete shutdown and turn it back on. You can do a complete power cycle basically if you want, but I just choose to restart it and just give it a moment here. And there you go, guys. Simple as that. Pretty straightforward tutorial, guys. Do a able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.